So I just got a message from Pierre Charbonneau saying that FedEx dropped off my package, my brand new Charbonneau guitar, um, without sign waiting for somebody to be home to sign for it, which they weren't supposed to do. Pierre left specific instructions for them to make sure somebody signed for this package. And here we are, out front of my place. Take a look, just in plain fucking view there. Nice going, FedEx. Wait, wait, wait to stand up and do and say what exactly what you said you were gonna do. So yeah, there you go. Um, the package survived uh, FedEx leaving it right at my doorstep there. Thanks a lot, FedEx. You guys fucking rule, even though they get specifically stated, you know, signature is required. You guys fucking left it there. That's real fucking professional. I definitely want to ship, ship with FedEx my t next time. Absolutely. Yeah, I can't th think of anybody better. Thanks a lot. Okay, so yes, as you can see here, I've got this interesting box here. What could it possibly be? Uh... Been waiting for this one for a while. You got, last time you guys saw this, it was in pieces on Pierre Charbonneau's workbench in Quebec. So uh, here we go. Ooh, what a nice hard shell case looks like. All right, I've been very anxious to try this out. I've been wanting to unbox this all day, but unfortunately, you know, adult things get in the way and you, you know, you gotta take care of business before you can have any fun. So here's the moment of truth. Let's see what Pierre did. If it's a dead body, Pierre, I'm gonna be very unimpressed. <laughs> oh, wow. Jack that bad boy out. Wow, is that ever fucking cool. Holy shit, yeah, look at that. That is just absolutely beautiful. Pierre, sir, you've outdone yourself. Wow, yeah, nice fretwork. You know, I'm gonna give you guys a full rundown of what this thing is, but uh, the one thing I'm really looking forward to checking out is this. This is a, this is the, the, uh, brass block instead of individual string ferrules. That's supposed to add mass. Overall, I gotta say this guitar is really light, but it's just got gorgeous balance. Oh, that is sick. Get this beautiful Murano fretboard. The top is beautiful. Um, Pierre originally started doing satin oil finishes, but I gotta say the gloss finish, he, I guess he um, originally did this with, with the satin oil finish. He wasn't too happy about it, but the gloss finish is just freaking unbelievable. And I have no idea how that works. You know, those are the weirdest um, pins for straps I've ever seen. So I'm going to have to figure out what that's all about. Like I said, I'm going to do a full review on this and give it a breakdown and see what everything is about. But man, is this ever beautiful. So there you go. Just straight out of the box, the Glenn Fricker uh, signature guitar from Charbonneau. All right, so here we go. I've had this thing out of the box for a couple of days now and um, playing it. I'm really, really enjoying the neck on this. Um, yeah, this guitar is just freaking phenomenal. I'm gonna give a full review and breakdown over the next couple weeks. I really wanna get used to playing it, um, learn all the little idiosyncrasies and whatnot and give you guys an actual proper review. But uh, so far, in the uh, in the preliminaries, yeah, this thing is just wicked beyond belief. I'm not gonna pull it out of a box and then not show you guys what it sounds like. Okay, here's the interesting part of that. That was actually an amp sim using a prototype impulse um, from my new SMG line that's gonna be coming out. Uh, we're just working out, out some details on that right now. Much more news on that front, but yeah, I, I intend on doing a full line of SMG impulses. So if you guys have ever wanted to get like, say the Eagle is Landed Tone or something really cool like that, um, yeah, that will be available to you. Anyway, uh, much more to come this week. Thanks for checking out the uh, the unboxing. Um, I've got a review up of one of Pierre's earlier guitars from a couple of years ago. It was actually the first guitar I ever reviewed on the show. So check that out. It's really cool as well. And uh, you can check out Pierre um, in the link description below and check out all the guitars he's got available. Like I said, he makes these things custom to your specifications. They're definitely worth checking out some of the finest instruments I've ever played. 
Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in a couple days. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this episode. If you like the content, please support the channel either at my SMG shop or through my Patreon. If you want to see more, hit one of the playlists. Thanks for watching. I'm out of here.